but we will have four new council members. We will have two, our longest serving council members have two years under their belt. We will have a new city administrator. So we are talking about new leadership. And the reason why I felt compelled to run is because we need the guidance and a new type of leadership. The leadership that is open and transparent and listens to each and every person in Roswell and not just to special interests. It's, it's key for our city. And with my experience um, from 2001 to 2009 on the Roswell City Council, then I went into the private sector, cared for my parents, uh, aging, ailing parents that have since passed away. Um, but what brought me back, I think, is what brought a lot of you up today. And that is what is happening with our zoning code. The, how many of you know the monstrosity on Camden Woodstock Street? It's 70% lot coverage. In our old zoning code, that would have been 35% lot coverage. Those are apartments, 45 units per acre. In our old zoning code, you could not rezone to apartments. We don't need new apartments in Roswell. We need to stabilize our existing apartments. They, apartments just by nature can be transient. What we need to do is really embrace our apartment dwellers, help to shore up our schools, work on things like crime and after school programs. That is key to our city because this city doesn't just run on, on folks that uh, own businesses, it runs on folks that work in our businesses, so it's very important. Another thing that we really, really need to look at is our economic vitality. Because right now, the city of Roswell is just kind of sitting back, waiting for things to come to us. We're not being proactive. We're not out looking for companies to come here. We're not out looking for development or, or developers to build office buildings in Roswell. And what we need in the city of Roswell, if we want to live, work, and play, we need a place to work. Because we've got to live in the play of that path. I, I tell people all the time that all of us move for, to Roswell for various reasons. Whether it's the beautiful neighborhoods, the beautiful parks, the wonderful schools, the Chattahoochee River, no matter what the reason was. Right now, raise your hand if you moved here for high density urban living. <laughs> and that's what's happening under our current code. We are letting the development community guide us in our development. And I'll tell you right now, the reason why we're seeing apartments is because that's what the financial people are, are get, putting money down for. So it's the path of least resistance for the development community. They can make money, they can get the loans, you know, everything's just great. What we need is an economic development department that is actually going out, finding people to come to the city of Roswell actually engaging the development community as well as um, our companies that would locate in the office. Whether it's Class A office located at the, um, the intersection of Hope Bridge and 400, or offices in, let's say, East Roswell down by the Super Target, that is actually close enough to 85 to attract office. We need the daytime visitors because what's happening in Roswell right now is most of us, not all of us, those of you that are luckily retired, I'm envious, but what we do right now is we all leave in the morning and we all come back in the evening. So just think of our businesses. Who's supporting the restaurants or the um, uh, retail shops during the day? No one is. So that's why we really need to bring back in daytime visitors. They're very low as far as drain on our services as well. So I really think that we need to look at all of those issues. But most important also is the fact that we need to protect our neighborhoods and our historic district. It's key because our neighborhoods are where we live and where we've chosen to um, Invest our money. We need to protect your homes. 
We also need to protect the historic district, and we need to market our historic district. Because we have a jewel. We've got four historic homes in the city of Roswell. But we've got the wonderful, most people don't think they're wonderful, but we've got beautiful, wonderful old cemeteries that people love to visit and walk around. We've got the uh, mill rooms that people love to visit. And um, those are all key things that we need to protect that our current zoning code and our previous council has taken their eye off the ball. My suggestion is we put our eye right back on the ball and protect the city of Roswell, the city that we know and love. So once again, my name is Lori Henry. I ask you for your support and your vote on November 7th.